In today's dramatized Grimgar audiobook, we are doing the final fight of Grimgar Volume 3. Some context, Haru and his friends were sent on an event with a bunch of other monster soldiers, including Renji's team and another team called the Wild Angels. The main objective of this event is to clear out all the orcs from Deadhead Keep, and their bonus objectives are to kill the leader, Zorin, who has a bounty of 100 gold, and to kill his orc sorcerer second command. Haru and Ranta working together took out the second command sorcerer, and now Haru is watching Mokuzu and Renji fight Zorin. While he watches them, he realizes that Zorin has a weakness that he can exploit. Ranta! Huh? Do you want 100 gold? Damn straight I do! Ranta yelled back. Then be a decoy! Hirohiro told him. You're the only one who can do it! Huh, looks like you finally figured out how to use me properly! Ranta hollered. What do you need done? Hirohiro gave him a brief explanation. Ranta's role was dangerous, but simple. With a Dreadnought doing it, even if it didn't work, just attempting it wouldn't be difficult. The problem was Mokuzu and Renji. Mokuzu! Renji! Hatahiro shouted. He has a habit of turning left when he turns around, and his right side is weak. He's got an old wound there or something. Let Ranta take the front. You two get behind him. Would they get it? Even if they understood, could they do it? There was no guarantee. Hatahiro looked over towards Mary and the others. Mary and Yume were working together to stop an orc attendant and protect Shihiro. Shihiro was using Shadow Bond to stop another attendant in his tracks. It was good just knowing they were alive. Choco, Hatahiro thought. Choco's fallen. She's dead. Once, Once you, die, you die, that's the end. Let's end this. We're doing this, Ranta! He shouted. Are you ready? Hell yeah! Ranta hollered. It's 150 gold! That's your response? Hatahiro ran. Zorin followed Hatahiro with his eyes, while continuing to rain harsh blows on Mokuzu and Renji. He was perceptive. Hatahiro was trying to circle around behind Zorin. He sees through me. Hatahiro thought. But how about this? Hey, loser! Ranta came out in front of Zorin. I can handle you all by myself, you damn loser! Did you hear me? Loser? Loser! 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 He stood in front of Zorin, pointing his sword at him and striking a grand pose. It was all according to their script, but still, how crassed. Still, with Ranta taking it so far, Zorn had to know he was being insulted, even if he couldn't understand the words. Maybe that's what made him snap. <laughs> Zorn roared. Zorn used a forward somersault, followed by a sweeping slash. Exhaust! Ranta wasn't blown away. He blasted himself backwards, avoiding Zorn's spinning slash. Ha! Moron, you're so obvious, you lose. <laughs> Exhaust! Ranta had gotten carried away, and Zorin had to chase him in a rage. It would only take an instant for Zorin to cover the distance that Ranta could fall back using exhaust. Still, Hatahiro had been right. Mokuzu and Renji were both more powerful in combat than Ranta. Of course, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, Ranta would also absolutely lose. Even so, those two weren't superior to Ranta in everything. Ranta had things he was better at than they were. When Zorin launched his forward somersault swing slash combo, Mokuzu and Renji couldn't avoid it. They were forced to block it with their swords. It hadn't just happened the first time. It's happened repeatedly. Mokuzu and Renji were by no means slow. Even if they knew it was coming, they just couldn't get out of the way. Zorin's combo was just that fast. And its reach was long, which made it dangerous. Despite that, Ranta had shown that he could dodge it. The way that his exhaust skill worked played into that. <laughs> The orc roared. Exhaust! 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 Ranta howled. Zorin was getting mad. He couldn't even hit someone like Ranta. So it was easy to see why that would make him angry. Thanks to that, Hatahiro was able to get behind him. Mokuzu and Renji were both chasing Zorin, along with Hatahiro. He spins to the left, remember? Hatahiro called. If they were going to attack, it should be from the right. Paired to attacking from the left or from behind him, Zorin's sword would take slightly longer to reach them. <laughs> Ranta howled. You're not good enough to beat me! As Ranta incorrigibly continued his provocations, Zoran howled and executed a combo, a forward somersault and a spinning slash. Ranta escaped with exhaust yet again. As the spinning slash was ending, Renji came at Zoran from the right side. His attack was quiet, swift, sharp, and fierce. He seemed to creep in, yet he closed the distance rapidly, then swung his sword. Zoran reached with his spin to the left, of course, using his sword in his left hand and his backhand. You could say he swung to the outside to deflect Renji's sword. It was so close. Making it by a hair's breadth, Zorin's sword blocked Renji's, but it was different from before. While Renji's blade may have not reached Zorin's body, it punched Zorin's sword aside. Though that said, Zorin 
was a dual wielder. Zoran quickly swept Renji's torso with his right hand sword. Renji probably put everything he had into that one strike. He abandoned his defense. He couldn't dodge. Ugh! Renji gasped. It must have been thanks to his armor. He didn't get cut in two. Still, it was a direct hit. Renji was mowed down. It's a failure. Hadahiro thought. It didn't work. Hadahiro slowed down. And was about to stop running. Mogazu, however, didn't. But Mogazu was being reckless. It was his thanks slash. He dug his feet in, swinging down diagonally, and slashing with all his might. It wasn't a surprise attack. Zoran was ready for it. He waited for the opportune moment, not even bothering to use his swords to catch the blow. Zoran's blade was faster than Mogazu's. His first struck Mogazu's right shoulder, then his upper right arm, left forearm, right hip. Then he went for the head, left side, then the top of it. Plate armor and helmet are that sturdy, huh? Hadahiro thought with the relief. He couldn't cut through them. But even if he can't cut through, there's no way Mogazu's fine after that. There are huge dents all over his armor now. Still, even though there's no way he's fine, Mogazu's not going down. He won't even take a knee. He's standing right there, like he's dug his feet in hard. In that case, there was only one thing for Hadahiro to do. His body was already moving on its own. Hadahiro was a thief. He was a coward who was always watching his opponent's back, always thinking about how to get behind them. And now was no different. Zoran was focusing on Mogazu. He must have been wondering why this human just wouldn't go down. It was strange. Wrong. Maybe he was feeling a creepiness from it. He may have even been driven by irritation or impatience. Hadahiro charged in towards Zoran's back. The line? I can't see that thing. He thought, it doesn't matter. I do have a vague sense of where I'm supposed to strike. Zoran's wearing some high quality red armor, but there's slight gaps. Maybe I can get in there. Zoran was tall, so Hadahiro held his dagger with a backwards grip, then swung down. He aimed for the seam between his helmet and his back. He stabbed. In that moment, Zoran's body stiffened. Hadahiro pulled his dagger free, getting ready to stab again. Then Zoran's left arm came at him, and then he was knocked away. Mokuzu hollered as Hadahiro was rolling across the floor. Mokuzu unleashed his thanks slash and landed a hit on the top of Zoran's shoulder. Zoran kicked Mokuzu away and might have been trying to make a temporary retreat. I won't let you! Haru clung to Zoran's right leg. Zoran immediately stomped on Haru's head with his right foot, knocking him senseless for a moment. When he came to, Kijiko was throwing blows on Zoran. Ron was nearby too. Odachi unleashing cannon magic on Zoran. Chibi Chung was bludgeoning Zoran with her staff. Ronto was slashing him. Kihiro was using Shadow Beat. Yume hit Zoran with her machete. Even Mary was there using her priest staff. Because of the blow to his head, Haruhiro was feeling a little out of it. Huh? That's a little weird, he thought. Everyone's wailing on Zoran like he was possessed. Well, I can't blame them. We've had a terrifying experience. A lot of people have died. Seriously, that guy was terrifying. That's not funny. Now Zoran's cowering on the ground and not resisting. Is he still alive? Hadahiro touched the back of his head. He wasn't bleeding, but his face was all wet. It looks like his head, nose, or jaw was hit. Enough! Renji stood up, pushing his way to Kijiko, members of Team Renji, and Hadahiro's party. Ranta yelled something at him and tried to stop him, but Renji just punched him in the face. <laughs> Renji grabbed his sword. No one had time to stop him. He swung down, decapitating Zora. <laughs> it's over! He said. The room was silent. Woo! Someone cheered. The few remaining attendants shouted something before charging at the wild angels, only to be slaughtered. 150 gold! Ranta cried, jumping into the air in joy. 150 gold! Everyone was dancing, chatting, having their priest treat them. But Mogzu was just standing there. There's something weird about it, Hariro thought. Mogzu wasn't holding his sword. His arms were slumped at his side. It's incredibly standing at all, though. I'm amazed he can stand. Suddenly, Mogazu slowly fell over. <laughs> Mary gulped. Hadahiro called his name. Mogazu? Hey, everyone. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Uh, I'm going to just immediately say, please, for the love of God, like this video. Share it to people who like Grimgar. Send it to the Reddit. Send it to whatever, anywhere. You want to send it to your group friends on Facebook that like Grimgar? Do it, please, for the love of God. Please. It took me so long to think this is done. Uh, I plan on actually having other people come in and start voice acting some other characters in the future if they are okay with it, if they want to do it. I have one idea for one of my friends who could probably voice act the girl characters. Um, I do plan on doing some more of these in the future, but I need a lot, like, I need to, I need to push support from everyone.
because these take so long for me and they are very mentally taxing for me because like I, I, I have a lot of fun editings for the, for the record. I love editing these things. They're a lot of fun. But the, the, the reading fucks my head up. My, my disabilities uh, stack on top of each other. For, I have ADHD, dyslexia, and I'm legally blind. So reading is a bitch for me. I, I had to record about an hour's worth of audio footage. Uh, audio footage. I had to record, a, record about an hour's worth of audio and then whittle that down to just about nine minutes. And I changed a lot of stuff up for uh, copyright reasons. So I wouldn't get copyrighted from uh, the Grimgar guys. Hopefully they won't attack me for it because I've seen people who do audiobooks get taken down on TikTok. I mean, on YouTube. And I think we'll be okay because I, I did a lot of changes to the script and the book itself. And I changed, I took out, I took out all of Mary's lines she had in this, which weren't that many. And I took out certain lines from Ranta. Uh, so it's just around there near the end. I, I did a couple of things. I changed certain lines around. Just We should be fine. But if you want to see more stuff like this, again, share, comment, like, boost this video as much as you can because these, this thing, I want to do more of these, but they're really, it's really tiring. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm going to take a nap after this. <laughs> thank you for watching this far and thank you to all of my subscribers over on my Twitch. If you guys want to help us out even more, check out links to my Twitch. Uh, we're near 500 followers and we plan on doing a whole celebration when we hit there. We need like three more followers to get to, to uh, 500 followers on Twitch. I would really appreciate the support on Twitch as well. But thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Love you guys. See you guys in my next video. Goodbye.